So Mark, tell me about your APC, what exactly is it? OK, well that vehicle is called an FV432. It's a British Army armoured personnel carrier. It, um, it has a crew of two, it has a driver and a commander uh, and a, a complement of ten troops in the back. Those ten troops will be uh, fully ready for battle with their packs, rations, um, rifles, all the gear. So there's not much room in there when it's, um, when it's uh, fully loaded. So um, what sort of time per period were these ones used in? Uh, these started in the early 60s and they're still a current um, vehicle for the British Army. Uh, they've sold a number of them privately, uh, ho however they're still, um, they're, they're still running them, they've uh, changed the uh, engine and transmission system in them, um, obviously it's, uh, over a period of 30 or 40 years they have to keep on updating them. Uh, this one is in the trim it would have been in up until about the 80s or late 80s. So just thinking service wise, they may not have served in the Gulf at all? No, look, I don't know the service history of this particular unit. It's interesting, it's got Egypt written on the side of it. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm off to Bovington, which is the uh, English Tank Museum shortly, and I hope to find out all its information. So later on this year I should know the full service records of that vehicle. A lot of them were just held as a reserve fleet, a lot of them used for training. Uh, quite a number were based in Germany, they've got extensive um, uh, encampments over in Germany, so uh, I'm not sure of the full details of this particular one. So I saw you tearing around the field here early on, it's, it's got a, a fairly good clip of speed to it. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's quite exhilarating to drive, uh, top speed is about 55, 60 kilometres an hour, uh, and it gets there reasonably quickly for a vehicle that weighs about 14 tonnes. So have you uh, driven any other tracked vehicles? I've driven the, the equivalent that was used in New Zealand, uh, called an M113, which is uh, an, a very similar vehicle, American made rather than British, that, that uh, this one is, uh, and Bren gun carriers and a few other smaller vehicles. I haven't driven a main battle tank yet, so that's still something on the list. So how does this uh, compare with the, uh, the American version? Oh look, they're, they're pretty much identical. I'd say it'd be like comparing a Commodore with a Falcon, really. Not, not a great deal of difference there. All right, Mark Hammond, thank you very much. No, Joe, at all, my pleasure.